Hey, howdy and a big welcome back to Yak City Gaming, everybody. As once more today, we're going to pick up the Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode here in MLB 16 The Show on the PS4. If you're not subscribed, now is the time to do it, as this is the stretch run to the playoffs for your 2016 Blue Jays. Marcus Stroman, as you see here, what am I talking about today? The All-Stars. Yes, Marcus Stroman, 13-1 on the season, 2.23 ERA was the leading vote getter for the American League All-Stars. All right, without further ado, let's go to Roberto Osuna, who just squeaked into the All-Star voting. And then you've got Edwin Encarnacion beasting it at DH, not first base. And then you've got Josh Donaldson, third base, killing it. He was in the home run derby, lost by just barely a second. So he came up clutch, but just barely lost it. Troy Tulowitzki, he is our final All-Star, my boy. 18 home runs, 40 RBI, 309 average, killing it. And quickly, we need to take a look at the lineups. Kevin Pillar, everybody, hold up, went too fast. Josh Donaldson, Jose Bautista, Encarnacion, Tulitsky, Colabello, Jensen. Dominic Brown should be back, so we'll leave Jensen in there to get some experience as the rookie. And Devin Travis is killing it. Ryan Goins is back up with the big club. Left-handed bat, 74 overall. That's what we need on the bench. So let's get into everything against these teams and that's a win and a loss and a trade from the Tigers Walt Mares a left fielder C potential why are we trading for someone like that I don't know does not make sense sim through date and there you go a couple of wins and a couple of losses the White Sox want to trade Jose Abreu and Austin Jackson oh boy Jose Abreu for Marcus Stroman that's quite a deal but also quite a no from us. We're not trading our franchise pitcher. We're going on a bad losing streak. The Tigers want to offer us a trade. Again, they want to trade Walt Mares. No thank you. That's another loss, but that's a win. So we are sitting at 64 and 38. Nine and a half games above the New York Yankees. And you see here, everybody is killing it. You've got all-star markers. You've got everything around. We need to call up. Boy, oh boy, we need to call up our man. Yes, we need to call him up. We need to call up Ryan Goins and send down Tony Sanchez. No, we need to send down Albert Jensen. Yes, okay, screw all this. And call up Ryan Goins to the MLB. There we go. And send down Albert Jensen, who has done well this year. But unfortunately, he needs to go back down to double it or triple A and get in some more experience. All right, against the Baltimore Orioles, we're going for a bigger lead on him. Play game, first in the AL East. We are killing it. Yes, indeed we are. Aaron Sanchez to the mound, 7-4 and four on the season. 4.46 ERA. He is not doing well. Cliff Lee, on the other hand, doing well. And Marcus Stroman still 13-1 and one on the season. So we will be player locking today as our second baseman, Devin Travis. No, just kidding. I am talking Ryan Goins today at player lock, batting 6th. In the lineup, 75 overall right now. We are getting into the game. You see here, we are way outclassing the Baltimore Royals in terms of batting average. Pretty good here. Team leaders caught stealing. We have only been caught stealing 10 times this season. Kevin Pillar, Michael Saunders, Josh Donaldson leading the way in that category. Josh Donaldson is a 98 overall right now. That is absolutely hysterical. Uh, I can't believe that. We have a 98 overall on the Toronto Blue Jays. How that happens, I don't know. Let's go. one nothing Blue Jays. Nobody on. Bottom half of the second inning. We're looking for a high fastball here. We're not going to get it. We will lay off this pitch to start the count. Fastball right down the middle. That's all right. We'll take it. Yovani Gallardo. All right. Come on now. You can pitch us something better than a fastball down the middle. There we go. We'll chase after that. Hoping it'll leave the yard, but it won't as that'll be a weak fly ball. A little bit tardy on that swing. We could have shot that up the middle, maybe. But that'll be an out, and here we go. We're in quite a game now in the bottom half of the third inning. It's 3-2. to two. Man on first for Ryan Goins, and he's going to look for something down. He's going to fly this one over just almost into the crowd, but that could have been an easy home run had we been swinging for a home run there. That's all right. Ryan Goins up to the plate, and he is going to get a low fastball, and he's going to club this one into right field. A beautiful little piece of base hitting there. Goins will 
up his average a little bit, hopefully. There's a little bit of a manager shaking his head, and we've got man on first and second. Fast forward to next appearance, and that is bases loaded. Russell Martin coming to the dish. He was hit by a pitch last time around. That'll get him an RBI, but instead he'll strike out. And Kevin Pillar at the bottom of the lineup. Buddy, you've got a chance here to do something good. And he's going to cash in two runs. And then Troy Tulowitzki cashed in another one. And yes, we are doing quite well. It is a 5-2 game in support of Aaron Sanchez. Yes, Ryan Goins has a base hit. He's looking for more here. He's not going to get it. And we're going to ground this one to the pitcher, who will flip over to first base. Thought we could get it off his glove, maybe. But no, Ryan Goins is out, and it's a 5-2 game. In the bottom half of the seventh inning, we got to be selective here. We're going to lay off this one, and that'll be a good layoff, as I think that's Todd Redman on the mound. Yes, it is. He's got that sinker. All right, come on now. Let's pitch to Goins. Oh, there we go. This one's hit high and deep. Maybe not. It's going to die in center field. There we go. It dies out there. So Ryan Goins will register a 1 for 4 on the day. And that will be the game as your MVP is Josh Donaldson hitting a home run and getting one lone RBI in this effort. But you see here, it was Devin Travis with two RBI and Donaldson with one and Kevin Plar with the other two. So pretty solid game by both of those guys. Drew Storen with a hold, Brett Cecil with a hold, and yes, Roberto Osuna comes in the ninth inning, locks it down. It's a 1-0 victory for the Toronto Blue Jays. Guys, thank you for tuning in to this edition of the Blue Jays Franchise Mode. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If not, leave a like on the video, and I will catch you guys in the uh, next one. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to this edition of Yak City Gaming. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out these playlists to my right. I've got some awesome videos for you to browse through. And if not, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.